Hey, it's Mel. This is a uh, video that's an ongoing part of a series that I'm doing because y'all are nosy. You got a lot of questions about breast implants, about breast implant illness, about explant surgery. Why am I talking about this? Well, if you haven't seen the prior videos, about a month ago, I announced that I had learned that my uh, breast implants that I had put in a, less than five years ago had been recalled and they've been recalled voluntarily because of a connection to a rare form of lymph noma. So I'm getting these out of my body. I've been sharing a lot about the experience of deciding to get explant surgery, about learning that these implants have been recalled, how I'm managing my mindset. And you guys have so many questions. So this video is the five things I wish I had known before I decided to get implants. I gotta drop a gigantic boom caveat to this. You gotta understand, it's not like I was some 20 year old who decided she wanted big boobs. I was a 47 year old woman. I had been thinking about this for two years before I made the decision to get breast implants. I thought I had done my research. Looking back, clearly I had not done all of my research. The first one is that while studies show that right after you get implants put in, most women experience a boost of confidence in the bedroom. Why? Well, because you have new toys on your chest and you suddenly feel very attractive and confident. But that's not the full story. If you were sort of down on yourself and unhappy before the surgery, after the newness wears off, you're gonna go right back to the preset levels that you used to be. And interestingly, most women, according to a lot of research, are not happy after they get surgery because typically it doesn't go how they thought, there's something they don't like. And here's the big thing that most people forget when you decide to get implants put in your body. It's just the first surgery you're gonna have. You can't just put implants in and then set it and forget it. They don't last for a lifetime. So you are signing up to have more procedures because you can't just leave them in there forever. So I wish I had known that the majority of women are not that happy after the fact. The second thing that I wish I would have known is that unless you're looking to get porn star boobs, you're gonna find that your implants are like in your way. I literally feel them all the time. Why? Because it's like having a foreign object in your body. And so I constantly find that I'm having to like lift them up to put them in a bra, that I'm moving them when I'm doing a twist in yoga. I can't sleep on my stomach anymore. And one of the things that I wish I would have done when I was looking at it is you can try out sizes. So if you decide, yep, I'm definitely doing, I don't care what Mel Robbins says because I would not recommend doing this to anybody, but it's your body. But I would recommend if you're hell bent on doing this, freaking wear the sizes. You can literally walk around in a trainer bra for weeks wearing uh, fake boobs to try the sizes. You will be shocked at how much bigger they are than you think that they are. Every single person that I know that has had implant surgery feels like they're too big. Um, <clears throat> maybe I just have a set of friends that got too big, I don't know, but I wish I would have known um, that they would be in my way and that I would think that they were too big and that I would find them to be a burden. The next thing that I wish that I knew is I knew nothing about breast implant illness, literally nothing. It's because my surgery happened right after the FDA in 2017 put a statement releasing that there is a demonstrated risk. Let me get the uh, phrasing right. Implant associated risk to anaplastic large cell lymph noma, which is exactly the lymph noma that the breast implants that I have have uh, had a correlation to. Uh, I'm so thankful for the doctors that are researching this. I'm so thankful for the support groups that are out there. But if your body rejects this foreign object, which mine clearly is, uh, you can have circulatory problems, which I am. You can have increased memory loss, which I do. You can lose hair, which thankfully I haven't. But you can have a whole host of issues. I knew nothing about this and I thought I had done my research. The fourth thing that I wish I would have known is that there's actually a lot that can go wrong when you get breast implants. I was so focused on leaking 
And that's probably because I remember seeing infomercials about breast implants leaking. And I remember when I told my parents I was thinking about doing this, my mom's thing was, well, what are you going to do if it leaks? And they had come out with this new gummy bear technology, which meant the, the implant was almost like a gel. And so in my dumb mind, I thought, oh, well, when you cut a gummy bear in half, there's just gel. Nothing spills out. So these must be safer. <laughs> the truth is your implants can harden. Your implants can cause breast implant illness. Your implants can develop scar tissue, which mine have. And so this one has started growing and looking like deformed as if there's like a chicken cutlet sitting on my chest. And so there's a lot more than just leaking that can go wrong. I wish I had known that. And finally, finally, this is the thing I wish I had known the most. I decided to get implants because my breasts after breastfeeding three kids and the law of gravity were just kind of hanging down like socks. And it was starting to impact um, how I felt about myself. And I'm all for body positivity. Uh, for years, I looked the other way. And finally, I thought, I just hate how I look. I need to do something about it. I wish I would have known that a simple breast lift would have solved all those problems that I didn't need to put anything in my body, that I could have, if I really wanted to correct the droopy, saggy skin situation, I could have just gotten plastic surgery involving a lift without putting anything foreign in my body. Had I done that, I would not be sitting here talking to you and I would not be a week away from having to have expensive and extensive painful surgery to have these implants properly removed, to have all the scar tissue removed with them, to have them tested and have pathology run on them, to make sure that I'm in the clear in terms of this lymphoma. Had I just been told that a lift would have given me the result without putting this stuff in my body, wow, we would be in a totally different place. So I'm sharing this with you because you all keep asking, you know, there's a lot of you that are thinking about getting implants. You're thinking about, you know, your body. You're wondering why I did this in the first place. Um, I've told you why I did this in the first place. Now I want you to really uh, know the five things that I wish I had known before I made the choice. Because had I known these five things, there's no way in hell I would have gotten implants. And those five things are that the majority of women are not happy with the result. Number two, they're going to be in your way and you're going to notice them more than more than you realize and they're going to impact the way you go about your life. And number three, there is documented evidence of, around something called breast implant illness. I am definitely suffering the symptoms of it. Number four, there's a lot that can go wrong, way more than just leaking. And number five, a lift would have solved all of my skin and appearance issues without putting a foreign object in my body. All right. I hope that helps. I'll keep you posted. I'm also going to uh, talk uh, about what the experience of doing explant surgery was like and what the recovery was like. Thanks for being here. I love you. Hey, it's Mel. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already subscribed, please, please, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you like this video, I have a suspicion you're going to like these two next.